Nasa, what I've noticed on the streets of New York is there's just, just simply less of an urgency. But somehow inside the hospitals, I would guess that's not true. Explain the distinction now from three, four weeks ago when the streets were screaming with sirens, when the ambulances were lined up outside the emergency rooms versus what you're doing now in the hospitals. Sure. So you're right. We have the adrenaline rush of the ambulances in, in the bays have diminished. But what hasn't really changed is the demand for ICU beds. Well, the, you know, the demand for the ICU beds and the ability to go into intensive care right now, what does that signal to you? Is it still a large body of older people, most vulnerable, or is it across all age groups? It's interesting. It is the majority of the age group that we're seeing here at Hopkins that's impacted is actually in the 30 to 50-year-old range. It is spread across all ranges, but that was very surprising to us to see that it wasn't just the elderly population. But, uh, Naya, you make a point, right, in saying, look, reopening isn't relaxing. But how do you change perception? Because a lot of people will say, well, look, you know, we're over the worst, so actually I can get back to a normal life. That's a very good question. One of the things that you have to do is you have to have a good message about the balance between science and economics and not have it as simply political all the time and if you notice you see it that's what we see quite frequently but really the the things that have worked are the masking the social distancing that part needs to stay but are people um, understanding? Is it not clear from the authorities, or are people refusing to do that? I don't know, you know what your perception is in what could be done better. Sure. So people are, they're relaxing. You know, I was out the other day, and I noticed many people without a face mask, and that wasn't the way it was a few weeks ago. So while I don't want this to be an acceleration of doom and gloom, I do want people to really understand that in order for us to stay ahead of this curve that we've been working so hard on, we need to keep the mask on. I saw your segment about Uganda where they're giving masks to all of the children. That's an important message. We need to keep those messages going. Masking, social distancing, washing your hands are all very important things. We are at a different place but we are not completely out of the woods yet.